Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? This is Zen from Zen World, and I hope you're having a great day. So we are back with our discussion with Leroy Smith. Now, he hasn't come out yet, but one of the main topics for this video is the inspiration. Where did the inspiration come from? Did the creators inspire him to come from a certain lore that we all know and love, or is it just um, headcanon for basically some of us viewers and watchers? I think it's a little bit of both, but... I think for most of us, we don't really care where the inspiration came from as long as we know where our spiritual inspiration came from. A lot of times when we see the character, we see him. But for the most part, I think most of us already know that we also hear a little bit of this. <laughs> and automatically this brings back memories for us. And because we see that little bit of inspiration, we do see Leroy, um, Leroy Green, right? And Leroy Green is from The Last Dragon, and that premiered in 1985, I believe, a little bit a year after I was born. And it's about a young man um, and who tries to be, who wants to grow up to be as strong and as um, philosophical um philosophically just strong just like bruce lee and he goes through the venture of training and he does he does a miraculous job in training he does meet this um this beautiful lady i'm gonna bring up a picture um her name is vanity but um in the actual in the actual um lore itself her name is laura charles and but uh she plays as um, vanity herself so i'm just gonna bring up a quick picture so that you all could see um what she looks like in the sense of and again she is beautiful um um she passed away so bless her soul but every time i think we automatically look at the word uh leroy and we automatically think of uh bruce leroy from the movie the last dragon and there's nothing wrong with that um for me it was like an automatic when i saw that trailer at a trailer at evo evolution uh 2019, I automatically thought about Bruce Leroy. But here's the thing. When it comes to Bruce Leroy or Tamik, um, aka Leroy Green right here, um, is that Leroy Smith and also uh, Leroy Green, they don't look anything alike. So I think we automatically associate um, a couple of things. Number one is the name. Um, Leroy, and then number two is also the inclusion of what could be their, I guess, his rival, right? Because they say that 50 years ago, um, gangs were rampant, and this was also the case during the movie, in the sense that gangs were very rampant. One of the gangs that um, that was prevalent, I forgot, was led by Shonuf, right? And Shonuf was, you know. Maybe I'm a little bit biased here, but I think that he was a wonderful and amazing villain of a character, which gives relevance and um, understanding to hearing this often. Here we go. Leroy! That alone brings back a lot of memories for me. And I'm pretty sure for a lot of people. And I'm gonna freeze there because you know how um, YouTube is. So, um, but basically, um, that's that's that in terms of um, the character presentation, um, and where he may have received some form of inspiration from, right? Uh, the the re the relevance of gangs um, at that time period, and also just kind of like you know who he's going against so a lot of us a lot of the people in the comment section theorize that maybe it's just a it is a spiritual successor and this is what if leroy aged up right um and came back um strong and also just mature and also philosophically full in the sense that now he um is coming back for revenge right but i think we all know that it's not really revenge if he's philosophically full but uh, more or less it just it's just for stu good storytelling. Now, the question that um, the theories that a lot of people have are, who is the next character after Leroy? Now, a lot of people are saying it's going to be um, kind of a shown of type of character. If that's the case, that would be really amazing. Um, I would love that. Um, and a lot of people are saying like, no, 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 the inspiration for Leroy, Green, uh, for Leroy Smith actually came from this Leroy. <laughs> 
Charlie Murphy, rest in peace, my man. Uh, thank you for the laughs. But uh, no, we know that it's it's if there's any kind of inspiration, it's definitely from The Last Dragon and Leroy Green. But anyway, um, I'm going to wrap up this video right here. Let me know what you think about, um, you know, where the, I guess, where everything came from or um, the inspiration came from. I, You know, for the most part, I think it's really um, fan inspiration, like where we think um, the inspiration to create Leroy Smith came from is from Leroy Green, and um, that's okay. I mean, for the most part, I, I, for I think that's why the the character has become so popular for a couple of reasons that he's doing Wing Chun. Um, number two, he's an African American person, um, and number three is that the our head canning is saying like, oh no, this is Leroy Green. He's back. He just has a last name change, things of that nature. But it would be really cool if they get some kind of um just some Easter eggs into um, The Last Dragon. Uh, I think that would be really cool, especially if he already, if he had like a theme music, but we heard his theme, which a lot of us are still waiting for a, um, a heavy release for. Um, and, uh, you know, I would, I would love to see that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap up this video just with that Leroy Smith theme. And I hope everyone is having a great day.